Welcome and thank you for joining our showcase. We hope that you will gain valuable information during our time together as we talk about why blended learning is not a bad word. This is the A-Leaf Blended Learning Team. We'll take a few minutes to introduce ourselves. I am Leslie Ayers. I'm the Digital Learning Coordinator in A-Leaf ISD. I'm Stacy Keener. I'm a Digital Learning Integrator in A-Leaf ISD. Hi, my name is Katie Sokolik. I am a Digital Learning Integrator also in A-Leaf ISD. Hello, I'm Deborah Vincent. I'm a Digital Learning Curriculum Specialist in A-Leaf ISD. A-Leaf ISD is located in Houston, Texas. Our district might be small, but we are mighty. We have 47 campuses and over 90 languages are spoken in A-Leaf. And you can see from our demographics that we look like many of your districts. You will find this presentation and other resources we have developed using the QR code. You will need to locate the video clip table of contents document when prompted to view specific clips during this presentation. Please feel free to give us credit if you find any of the material useful. Since 2012, we've developed eight blended learning courses. And in that time, we've been able to work with the CTE department, the math department, social studies, electives, and even health tech. During this presentation, we're going to take you through our blended learning course time frame and our process. We will go into greater detail at each of the stopping points during this video. We can't say this enough. If you don't have the support of your district leadership team, it is difficult to move a project forward. Our district supports our efforts to develop blended learning courses, and we make it part of our district improvement plan and department goals. Using district data, we identify a potential subject area that can benefit from the development of a blended course. We then spend time working with the district content coordinator to identify the specific grade level or course subject. Once this has been done, we present a timeline of the writing process from selecting candidates to the completed blended course. Our content coordinators understand that once the course and teachers have been selected, they do not have a very big role in the process. We don't want to burden them with one more thing to manage. The digital learning team takes over and we keep them updated as progress is made. Please pause this presentation. Using your QR code or the bit.ly link at the bottom of any slide, to locate the video table of contents page and locate video number one. Listen to a few of our district leaders who believed in the development of our blended learning courses. How we identify those that we want to be part of our team. When we are looking for content teachers, we identify those that are the strongest in their content and pedagogical practices. We think, if we could duplicate our best teachers, who would that be? They do not have to have the understanding of the technology to be a course writer. We're going to give them the skills they need to write and then use the blended course in their classrooms. When we look for builders, we want to identify those that have previously written a blended course or those that have a strong understanding of our learning management system. We train them on next generation tools such as Web 2.0 and 3.0 tools, as well as the accessibility standards in a course delivered through an LMS. The team leader needs to have a strong organizational skills and be able to manage all the moving parts of a project. 
They should be someone who pushes people to think outside the box. They do not need to have a strong understanding of the content standards, but they do need to have a strong understanding of the verbs used in the standards. This is the person who will keep the team moving on time, keep track that all the standards are being taught at the correct level, and they will be the person who will troubleshoot issues as they arise. Once the team members have been selected, we then let the building principals know about the project and those selected to participate. We want to make sure that they do not have any hesitations about the teachers we've selected. They understand that by having their teachers participate in the blended learning course development, their teacher will be implementing it in their classroom the following year. We have designed a course for writer and builder training. This is what the shell of that course looks like. It is housed in our learning management system, which is Schoology, and it is designed to prepare content writers and course builders for developing a blended course. Participants earn seven hours of professional development hours. This is the first time that the content writers and course builders are meeting and beginning to learn how to work together. As content writers progress through the course, they are asked to use a lesson planning template to develop lessons on each of the module topics. And then by the end of the course, they will have developed six lessons and received feedback on each of the lessons. This is all in preparation for the actual course writing. Course builders are asked to take a pre-written lesson plan and build the course module in a sandbox course. They receive regular feedback for each built module. If you would like to learn more about our training course, please use the QR code at the beginning of this presentation or the bit.ly link at the bottom of each slide. It will take you to a folder. Look for the document called Blended Learning, Course Writing and Design Training for Content Writers and Course Builders. Now, please pause this presentation and using your QR code or the bit.ly link at the bottom of the slide to locate the video clips table of contents and locate video number two. Listen to our course writers talking about the training they received. The philosophy of designing the course as a fully online course is to allow teachers to select activities that allow them to blend in a way that supports their classroom needs. As the landscape of education has changed, we have many new teachers who have never taught before. The blended course provides them a strong model for teaching the content as well as supports for the level at which the content should be taught. The detail contained in the lesson plan template allows the builders to design the course as the writer intended. It also eventually becomes the written plan that any teacher can follow and not lead them to guess the intended content. The content writer and course builder work side by side during the actual writing process. The builder is there to offer different ways activities can be designed so that there is a variety of options for students to experience. This raises the level of engagement for our students and keeps the course from appearing redundant. Please pause this presentation using your QR code or the bit.ly link at the bottom of the slide Locate the video clips sheet to locate video number three. Let's listen to our coordinators and teachers discussing the impact the blended courses have had on engagement in the classroom. As course writing begins, the writers determine which units they feel are their strengths and the year-long course is divided amongst the writers. 
The team leader then sets project deadlines, chunking the writing and building up into manageable pieces. There are at least two meetings after school in which the content writers come together to write. The team lead is there to assist in the writing process. There is consistent, regular feedback from these sessions on the lesson plans so that the content writers are able to rise to the expected level of detail needed in the lesson plans. Then in June, writers and builders are sitting in one room next to each other. This allows for a very organic discussion amongst the writers and builders. This supports them in both the writing and the designing of the blended course. These 10 days are very structured and start with a lesson focus for the day and end with key takeaways for the day as well. The builders go through additional training that focuses on the I Nicole standard strands C instructional design, D, learner assessments, and E, accessibility and usability. We want students to take ownership of their learning and courses have to be designed in such a way that supports students becoming independent learners. The quality matters standards are aligned with the I Nicole standards and provide a way to look at the three strands that we focus on during course building. Accessibility is a large nut to crack, but we try to break it down into manageable pieces and give builders a way to understand some of the bigger pieces of accessibility that they need to pay closer attention to during the building process. We focus on document design using the formatting tools, alternative text for images, and video transcripts. From this, we set up specific structures and expectations for course building. For example, folder structure and use of consistent icons, color schemes, and font styles. If you would like more information on the training we provide our builders, please click on the QR code at the beginning of this presentation or use the Bitly link located at the bottom of each page of the presentation. We have already spent time sharing how we bring this project to life. In year two, the course writers are actually living in the course. They're using the course with their students. They are provided the lesson plans for each of the developed course modules, and they are expected to take notes about what worked well, where they find mistakes, where there needs to be added materials, and where more variety of activities is needed. We come together one time in the fall and one time in the spring to discuss the changes they are already making. This begins the list for the work we will begin doing in the summer. Then in the summer, we come together to improve the blended course. Once all of the issues have been addressed, we look at how we are going to have the writers become the trainers for the course across the district. It is our belief before we have others live in the course, we want to work out as many of the bugs as possible. So we wait until year three to share the blended course with others in the district. The writers also become the trainers sharing their experiences as they implemented a blended learning model in their classrooms and use the blended course with their students. Now, please pause this presentation for a few minutes and use the QR code at the beginning of the presentation or the bit.ly link at the bottom of the slide and locate the video table of contents and find video number four. Let's listen to some of our teachers talk about how year one differed from year two implementation. If you would like to learn more about the breakdown of writing a blended course, please use the QR code found at the beginning of this presentation or the bit.ly link at, on the slide. It will take you to a folder. Look for the folder called Pricing. Please pause this presentation. Using your QR code or the bit.ly link at the bottom of the slide, locate the video clip table of contents and locate video number five. 
Let's watch this video of Brian Gonzalez, the director of digital learning, talking about things to consider when developing your budget for writing a blended course. It is critical that you have district buy-in. It may take time to build those relationships and sell the idea of blended learning. If COVID has taught us anything, having blended learning classes ready to go allows you to pivot to online learning quickly. But not only does it help in situations like that, but consider those students who are at home and not able to attend school on a regular basis. Blended learning can help those students as well. Be ready to train those selected to write and build the blended course. They are going to need support and guidance. It's the best way to set the standards and expectations you want for your blended course. Be ready to pay those that are working hard to develop the course. Look for resources that will provide funding. How are you going to know the course development and implementation of the course is or is not working? Be ready to include feedback loops in your course timeline. Most of all, this is a grueling process, but it's also the most fun. You started out in the classroom. This is your opportunity to let your creativity shine. You get to bring the best teachers and designers together to create a blended course that will become the model for your district. Please pause this presentation using the QR code or the bit.ly link at the bottom of this slide. Locate the video clip sheet to locate video clip six. Let's listen to our teachers and the lessons they have learned. Please pause this presentation. Using your QR code or the bit.ly link at the bottom of this slide, locate the video clips table of contents, then locate video number seven. Let's listen to the recommendations if you're considering writing a blended course. For more information on ideas presented during this presentation, use this QR code or the bit.ly link at the bottom of the page to access our resources. Thank you for joining our showcase of blended learning is not a bad word.